Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another episode in my Football Manager series. This is episode number 85. And today we're returning with Juventus at home in the second leg of our Champions League quarterfinal, then Aston Villa away in the Premier League as well. But I just played these two games when I was making this episode, only to find out as I was recording the video, I was only recording my audio and didn't record the screen. Now, if you follow me on Twitter, you would have seen it this afternoon, but uh, right now I'll, uh, I'll show you the results. We beat Juventus by a goal to nil in uh, my first run through of today's episode, if you will. Uh, so, made it through to the semi finals. We were drawn against PSG in the semis, and uh, against Aston Villa, we won by three goals to one, and Chelsea also lost their game in hand in the Premier League as well, which means we would have been top of the table with four games to go, and both teams would have played 34 games, and we were two points clear. But instead, because I forgot to record the video like a moron, I just add the audio, and uh, because of that, we're going to redo today's episode. I hope, it's, it's blind faith really, that Lightning will strike twice and we'll get the exact same results, but I don't think we'll be that lucky. Anyway, of course, in the last episode, you saw our 5-1. I oh, know you didn't. You saw the 2-0 win against Manchester United in the FA Cup semi-final. Then the goal is draw away in Turin in the first leg against Juventus in the Champions League quarter-final. There was one game off camera and we beat Sheffield Wednesday by two goals nil in the Premier League. Sessegnon scoring our first goal uh, after Alenia teed him up and there were 20 minutes to go. A nice little set-piece routine. Uh, saw Dennis assist our Dutch centre off Geordie, who fired at home to give us the three points. Uh, so yeah, today we got the second uh, second leg of the Champions League quarterfinal against Juventus and the away game against Villa, where again, hopefully, we'll get the two wins we just had, literally just a few moments ago. And a reminder right now in the Premier League, as you can see, five games to go. Uh, we are two points clear of Chelsea, but Chelsea do have that game in hand, which is tonight against Liverpool. This is the game they lost in that episode I just recorded. So hopefully, Liverpool once again do us a favour and beat Chelsea where it stands for Bridge. I should be so lucky. But uh, anyway, yeah, first game today. Let's just dive straight into it. And hopefully we'll have a repeat p uh, performance of what I just had. And that's a win against Juventus. Right now on the injury report, everyone is fit. And this will be our team for the game. After the failed 4-4-2 away in Italy, we're going back to our, one of our regular systems, the 4-3-1-2 uh, Gigan Press system. And this will be our lineup. Henderson in goal. About for us, Cessignon, Kimpembe, Van Dijk, and Stefano, with our midfield trio being Ramsden, Brahim, and Alenia. And the OG is supporting Maria and Pedro Antonio, who scored that goal in that game off camera. Uh, well, yeah, with my audio <laughs> up top together. And on the bench, fans, Jordi Odrizola, Jason, Rabiot, Sterling, and Dennis. So, first game, it's Juventus. Let's do it again, all over again. Please, God, come on, you bluebirds. Obviously, I know I could have just kept the two results as they were and, and just played the next two games. But this is a really pivotal moment in the season. And I don't think it will be fair to miss out these two games. So, yeah, let's uh, let's do it all over again, shall we? Now, I'm going to try and remember what I said in the dressing room of both of our games. And I do remember I was talking a lot about demeanour uh, in, in that last episode. I say last episode, the episode I just recorded, but I recorded the audio for. And I talked about how we need to stay calm in this situation. We're currently hunting the treble. The last thing we want to do now is unsettle our boys or have them misinterpret our words. So we've got to stay calm in the dressing room. And I'm going to say to the boys, go out there and carry straight on from where you finished your last match. Juventus are home and hopefully we'll keep the clean sheet again. But don't forget, if they score tonight, we'll need to score at least two goals due to your lack of way goals in the first leg. Come on, Cardiff! Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> Willems with the first time volley. Fires into the bottom corner past Henderson. Juventus have the early lead inside the first 20 seconds. I mean, this is just fucking typical, isn't it? Seriously, lads. Seriously. I mean, we're going to lose against Aston Villa away as well now. I can just tell. Rams them on the ball. Finds Alenia. What are we made of? How's our response tonight? Come on, Cardiff. Carl's to Allen as we look for an opening. And now Alenia is trying to find one. Back to Brahim. We, we, just, we just can't break him down here. But Stefano has a little bit of space out wide to cross. Marie's in the middle. Taken down. And that should be a penalty. Pushed in the area. And a spot kick is awarded. And Carl Zalenia is normally quite lethal from 12 yards. Please, Cocky. you got to do this for us. Yeah! 
this bottom corner. There's the equaliser. What a start. Two minutes to game. Concede the away goal. Get right back on level terms. Cocky Carls with a call list of finishes. Bottom corner pass Carrius. 1-1. Again, I could have just kept the results and just said that's how it was. You know, I made a mistake. I'm sorry. But it's such a pivotal moment in the season, this. You know, still going for that treble. And, and, and today, in this episode, two of those trophies could realistically be gone. Well, one could definitely be gone if we go out here. So I don't think it would be fair to, to, to miss out the games. I think you deserve to see them. Even if it does, unfortunately, end in tears as Carriers finds Piaka. And Juve have started this game off really well as well. They're not losing possession battle by much. They've got a very high pass completion ratio right now. And they look comfortable on the ball as well. Carrius controls and Pedro Antonio. Oh, what did I just say? Pedro Antonio. Pedro Antonio. Carrius with a howler in the Champions League. I feel like I've seen that before. 2 1, and we come from mine to lead here in South Wales. All will be forgiven if we get the two results we should have had today. Carrius dilly dallying on the ball. Pedro Antonio robs him. We've seen that so often throughout this save, and I say it, it seems every episode. Goalkeepers in next year's FM, if they are not fixed, it will be a travesty. They're just too poor. But again, don't forget, due to that away goal, it does mean if Juve get another, we'll have to get another as well. But still, excellent response from Cardiff. Going down inside the first 20 seconds, conceding that away goal after not scoring one in Turin. That's a brilliant way to bounce back as Bellanova plays back towards Karras. Keep, keep pressing. Juve looking to get back on level terms here, though, as Piaka comes forward and slides it into Willems. Oh, he's got more space in that area than he should be getting right now. Another golden chance for the Belgian, who's just picked up a knock as well, but this time fires it over the bar. Fantastic first half. This is Stefan, who's in a bit of space here in 20 yards, but drills it wide of the post. Definitely more goals in this game, no question. But just like in the episode that never was, the ghost episode, we could call it now, it is half time, and again, the body language is very good, like it was for me earlier. Composed and motivated. So once again, staying calm, I think, is crucial here. Staying calm is crucial. Not playing with the boys' emotions, but just leaving things... As <laughs> Not playing with the boys' emotions. That's advice that most teenage girls should get given. But uh, keep it calm, and uh, say to the boys... Hmm... I've got to say something different this time. We've got a guard against complacency now. Don't think the job is done. Willems has had two golden chances in that first half for Juve. Took one, missed the other. If he gets another, he won't let us off the hook again. So second half begins. 2-1. Get another goal on a two-goal cushion, and we are in control tonight. And straight from kickoff. Let's see if we can give Juventus a taste of their own medicine. Gonzalez goes for goal and carries. Pushes it behind for a corner. Still 2-1. I'll be interested to see what the body language of Carrius is right now. If if he's if he's got a negative body language, what I might do is instruct the boys to shoot on sight. Try and try and catch him out like Gareth Bell did. Yeah, he's disenchanted. What I'm gonna do here is say to the boys, have a dick. Have a pop, have a go, and see if you can catch him out. I'm going to change to our Tiki Taka style of play now, just so we can hold on to the ball a little bit better. Get the tempo as low as we possibly can here. Be more disciplined in our creative freedom as well. And let's bring on Raviotta for Pedro Antonio down that left-hand side as well as we approach the final five minutes where Juventus have a throw. Barco. To Bellanova. In goes a deep cross, but Stefano volleys it away. You can see Juventus getting one late chance here. Rodrigo. Back to Varnia, sends it long. Stefano loses out in the air. Oh, Kimpembe brought his man down, and they're, they're, the ball's in the back of the net, but it's going to be a penalty. It's a penalty that's Kimpembe with the push, and unless Henderson can provide the heroics, Juve. Oh, yes! Dean Henderson! What have I said so often over the past two years? He comes good in big games. He comes good in the big games. Dean Henderson. This means so much more because if we would have gone out tonight after we won in the ghost episode, I'd have been fuming. But Henderson spares Kim Pembe's blushes. For now, corner for Juventus. Brahim heads it away and Gonzalez flicks it clear. And we've got 36 seconds to survive and hold on and advance to the semi finals. Rodrigo for Juventus. The nerves right now. Bellanova sends it long. Stefano loses out in the air. But the header goal bound is picked up by Dean and that should do it. And we just want ourselves a corner in the final few seconds as well. We don't even get time to take it. Jason begins his run up, but doesn't even need to strike the ball. 
Dean Henderson saves Cardiff City. Oh, he's confident. I love it. Big balls, Dean. And sends us into the semis. And passionately, I'll say, well done, lads. That was a good win for us. But my goodness, Kim Pembe. First, a red card at Wembley against Manchester United. And in a needless push in the box. What's happening to the old reliable? Well, and interestingly enough, Arsenal just beat Bayern Munich as well. Which does mean we'll have the exact same teams in the semis as we would have done in that ghost episode as well. In the ghost episode, it was the same three teams and we got drawn against PSG. And the semi-final draw is, I believe, on Friday as well. So Zelenia has got the tight hamstring, which should be okay for the Villa game. What we'll do before that is do the draw once again and see if this time we take on the champions or not. And oh man, that is the one bit of bad news. Whilst we might be going through Chelsea in this game in hand, didn't lose at home. They won by three goals to nil. So once again, regain top spot by a point with five games games to go. Well, that's a bit of a shame. Dean fucking Henderson, though. Seriously, this guy lives for the big games. I absolutely love it. He doesn't want to play in the rest of the season. He just wants the big games. So what we'll do then is the Champions League semi-final draw. See if once again it'll be us against the champions Paris Saint-Germain, who of course hold it because I've just called them the champions. Uh, by Leverkusen right now in the Bundesliga, as you can see, are top of the table uh, by five points. Arsenal, as we know, are in third place in the Premier League and still not at a title race just yet. And of course, uh, PSG, we don't have the French League loaded, but as we know, they are the best team in France and one of the best teams, if not the best team in the world right now. So in the semi-finals this time, it's going to be all oh, funny enough. It's Arsenal this time not Paris Saint-Germain but Arsenal in the semis and the interesting thing about this is that all three of these teams here have knocked us out in Europe before. PSG and Bayer Leverkusen double teamed us last year in the group stage as we of course got knocked out embarrassingly in third place and of course don't forget Arsenal knocked out of the Europa League back in season seven so they'll be aiming to do it again we'll be aiming to get revenge this time around in an all English semi-final. Bring them on. It's not the first time this has happened, by the way. This has happened multiple times before. Where uh, well, normally what happens is I uh, I forget I've got the microphone muted, so I'll record the screen. But of course, you won't get the audio that comes with it as well. But a couple of times I have forgot to uh, to record the screen. But ordinarily, it's not a pivotal moment <laughs> in the season, so that's why I was quite disappointed having to do this, uh, to redo this episode. But either way. Thankfully, we did win the game regardless. And uh, now we've got to win this one as well, like we did in the Ghost episode two. And as Arsenal play Wolves away at Molyneux, if they win that game, they stay in the title race. And they did. They won it 3-2, which means that heading into the game, we stay in second. But the Gunners are not giving up the Ghost themselves. Pardon the pun. Is that even a pun? Not really. They're five points behind Chelsea and uh, four points behind us. Of course, we both have the game in hand, which we played today at 3 p.m. And Chelsea leading kickoff as well. But they're, they're not done yet, Arsenal. They could still mount a very late fight back. Anyway, second and final game. It is Aston Villa away. We won it 3-1 in the Ghost episode. Scored two very late goals. Uh, Dennis and an own goal as well. And hopefully, we'll, we'll get the job done a little bit quicker this time and come through with the victory. And it's into the game as well. Going back to our Tiki Taka style of play, which is our best style of play. 4-2-3-1. And I'm not sure whether to start a lender or not. His conditioning is poor for the game. But he is such a great player, Carlos. And of course, scored that penalty in midweek as well. I think, I think we'll start him. But at some point, Jason or McKenney will probably come on to play alongside him. So our team's going to be fans back in goal. The back for a Goncalves, Kimpembe, Van Dijk, and Andre Rizzolo, Valenia, and Ramsden through the middle. Once again, said before, this year I'm playing a box-to-box -box as opposed to a ball in midfielder alongside Carlos. And that, I would say, is the main reason why we scored more goals than anyone else in this year's Premier League campaign. Uh, third forward, Rabiota on the left. Dennis on the right and the OG through the supporting uh, player Maria up top. Going for his third straight golden boot, Maria. Uh, I believe level on goals... Uh, right now at the top and on the bench Henderson, Jordi, Cessignon McKenney, Jason Sterling and Pedro Antonio as well. Second and final game, Aston Villa away. Let's do it again and get the victory at Villa Park. Come on you bluebirds. Again, going to stay calm in my demeanour and say to the boys I fully expect you to keep our run going and win this match again. <laughs> First highlight coming inside the first minute as Bernardo is hustled by the OG and now Wood is going to play it all the way back towards Galini. Hopefully not another disastrous start like we had in midweek against Juventus. I'd like us to get a good start today if we could as Van Dijk sends it long but straight to Sam Field who hits it long to the Korean Son Hyung Min. Down the left he crosses and oh, oh my goodness Son Hyung Min has just produced a moment of magic. It's 1-0, and again, we fall behind very early. How did he do that? Well, the former Spurs and Bayer Leverkusen man 
aims to cross and catches Stefan fans out. I mean, he was on his line fans as well, but just looped over him and deflects in off the far post and trickles into the back of the net. And we're 1-0 down. Unbelievable. I think he should be stopping that as well, fans. I mean, it's, it's of course, a very fortunate goal for Aston Villa, but I think he should have got at least something on it. It's Rabiotta is tackled by Wood, but it is going to be a penalty. And just like against Juventus, it's deja vu. Lightning is striking twice. We concede an early goal. We win a penalty straight afterwards. Now we have the same outcome. Alenia versus Galini. Yes, two from two. It's deja vu. And now Dredge down the right-hand side finds Sandro, who finds Field. Oh, great first touch, and a shot hits the post. And Van Dijk's ground was it away. Frenetic start to this game here. Villa are looking very good as well. Sandro in behind, fires it just wide. We've got to tighten up our defense right now, because consistently, they're, they're, they're getting in behind. I don't want to push our defensive line too high, because both our centre-backs are quite old now. Uh, I'd like to say stay on your feet and be a little less urgent in our pressing as well. In fact, let's go less urgent completely in our pressing too. Because at the moment, they're getting round us a bit too quickly. I think we're sticking a bit too tight to them. So 18 minutes in, still 1-1. Come on, lads, show some passion out there. Show some passion. 29 minutes in. Gonzalez free kick. Headed away. And Villa get it back. And on the counter, they are looking very dangerous today. Sandro against Ramsden. Hits it long. Mount is there. In behind. What a tackle by Goncalves. But Son Young min scores his second. And this time, he meant it. Fans, I think, should have saved both as well. This time, called out his near post as the Korean bags a brace. Well, with Sandro over the top. Mason Mount. Great tackle by Goncalves. But as Xiong Min, yeah, it's got to be saved. Xiong Min Son strikes it. Stefan fans, just terrible. And again, goalkeepers in next year's FM. Please, please, Sports Interactive. Please improve them. 2-1. We fall behind for the second time. And that will do it for the break. Well, oh, well, oh, well. I think I'm going to get aggressive in my half-time team talk because time after time after time again, Villa have been through. And I'm going to say to the boys, where is your passion, lads? Because I don't see it. Do you even want to win this match? That's motivated them all. Carl's, I, <laughs> he's looked like one of our best players out there. He scored our goal. I think he's going to have to come off, though. I'm going to bring on the captain now, I think, as well. I'm going to bring on Jason. These are the situations where you go with the boys you trust. I know Jason's not the player he used to be, but we know that he still has magic in him. So I'm going to calmly tell Jason as well, you have the ability. No, I have faith in you. Jason, get out there and make a difference. He's motivated. The captain, we haven't seen him have a magical performance since that FA Cup final two years ago. If we ever needed a repeat of that, this is the time. Half an hour to go. Let's go attacking in our style of play. Let's change our instructions, be a bit more direct and also higher the tempo as much as we can now instead of just knocking the ball around. Stop working the ball into the box as well. If you've got to go for goal, go for goal. And be more expressive and run at that defence as well. 25 minutes, still time, but that chance is not coming. Instead, it's Aston Villa looked a better team out there, but it's gone. Cowboys wins it back. There is a chance for a counter-attack. Dennis down this right-hand side is surrounded by Claret's shirt to place it back toward Rizzola, who swings one in, and it'll drop to Dennis... Yes! Who scores? He scored a late goal in the Ghost episode that put us 2-1 up, and now he's put us back on level terms. 2-2. Odrizola down the right-hand side. Cross temporarily dealt with, but Dennis, cool and collected, takes a couple of touches, steps inside, and again, it's shambolic goalkeeping. What a shocker. 2-2. 16 minutes to go. Can we come from behind to win this game? Oh, 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 oh. Free kick, free kick, free kick. Free kick, free kick, free kick. Kimpembe, off the bar, Raviotta, across the goal line, and Sutar clears. Right, Sessegnon on, Goncalves off. Uh, go very attacking now as we really go for it. And distribute the pace of the ball quicker as well, please, Stefan. Push our defensive line up. Now let's start pressing as much as we can. And, yeah, final change. Pedro Antonio's got to come on. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll take off Ramsden. Let, let's just go for this now. Let's just really, really go for it. I feel it's going to be a bit ridiculous. But, hey, we need a goal. Why not, right? So, let's just go for anything now. We may as well lose the game while chasing a winner because a draw at this stage of the season is effectively meaningless. Seven minutes to go. Can we get that late winner? Maria. Has his pass deflected but wins it back and storms down left. He needs a teammate. There's no one in the area. Who are you crossing to, mate? There's no one there. Kimpembe wins it back and Odorizola's first to the loose ball. Gonzalez to Jason and the captain finds the OG. Yeah! 
Let us get in! Gonzalez bends it home and Cardiff's comeback is complete. 3-2! And I'm going to have to change the tactics real quickly as well due to the ridiculous system we're playing right now. Jason lays off to Gonzalez, who bends one in from 25 yards and puts us in front for the first time this afternoon. And now again, got to change the tactics here. Let's push Andre Zola and Sessegnon back. Let's push Gonzalez back as well. And let's also push Maria back as well to play as an advanced playmaker, supporting Pedro Antonio up top. Uh, we also go to attacking uh, instead of very attacking. And hopefully, hopefully we are going to do it. And I think we will now. We're into stoppage time and that should be the game. The reason why this means so much is because in that ghost episode, having those two wins, I would have been so bloody annoyed how one of these games not gone the way we were hoping. Well, both of them could have been that way. But instead, in both of the games, we come from behind to win. Cardiff City made of something stronger. 3-2 to final score, and I'm going to passionately say it to the boys as well. What a comeback that was. A superb effort. I'm proud, and so should all of you be. And it just goes to show you, captain's influence on at a break, got the assist for our winning goal. Didn't really have much involvement in it, but either way, it's, uh, it just goes to show you, he's still got a bit of magic left, Jason. And even when he's not directly impacting the results, he lifts the team with his mentality. That's what we want to see. And just before we end the episode, what we'll do is we'll see if the Borough can take points off Chelsea at Stamford Bridge, as unlikely as that is, and keep us top of the table to end today's episode. Nope, Leon Goretzka, our arch nemesis, scored the only goal of the game. So the two things that were different from the Ghost episode to this one is that we'll be taking on Arsenal in the Champions League semi-finals, and unlike in that Ghost episode, Chelsea are top of the table as they didn't slip up in their two games. Four games to go. Destiny is still in their own hands. Win their final four. It doesn't matter what we do. They will be crowned Premier League champions. It's going gonna, it's gonna to feel like, like the, the real life Premier League title. Both teams are going to keep on winning until the end of the season. I just know it. And we'll miss out by a point. Liverpool, I know how you feel. But that was today's episode of the Football Manager Series, guys. So a big thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did enjoy today's episode, then please do drop a like because likes are, of course, very much appreciated. And it will help channel out as well. Much love to you. Have a great evening. And I will see you for next episode very soon. We'll play the Norwich game away at Carrow Road off camera. But come back for the Wolves game at home and uh, then uh, Arsenal away in the first leg of the Champions League semi-final tie as well. Have a great evening guys. Much love to you all. The treble is still on just very soon. No, wait, what? See you for the next one very soon. <laughs> Bye now.